Yeah! <laughs> Things adults should not do on kids' bikes. Let's get on topic. Hey everybody, it's Thomas with Get Out Arizona and you are watching another exciting, stupendous, scooby dooby doo delicious <laughs> episode of Toolbox Topic. I'm joined with my co-host once again, Brandon Van Lubin. Brandon, how the hell are you? Hi. Hi. <laughs> and we're coming to you from Truck Bicycle Store West Phoenix in Goodyear, Arizona. And no, we're not going to do stupid things on kids' bikes, although that would be a fun episode. But I think we would need Doug and Wyatt, <laughs> possibly Kale, to really have the full impact of that episode. It's somebody else's bikes. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> These haven't been bought yet, so we're not going to do anything. But we are going to talk about a very important segment, and that's the youth segment. Now, Brandon, how often do you see parents out there with the kids on bikes riding as a group? All the time. Yeah, I see them on the trail, too. And I, they always want to apologize for kind of holding up my progress. I tell them, absolutely not. You're doing it right. I think it's awesome to get your kids involved in the sport of bike and teach them that love early. So we have a variety of different bikes. We have some accessories um, to kind of illustrate the options that you have, okay, if you're one of those poor unfortunate souls who still <laughs> has a money sucking child in your house. Mine are gone. Brandon doesn't have any. He was smart. He just said no, you know? No, I'm joking. Kids can be great <laughs> when they're old enough to do the goddamn chores and they actually listen. I am missing out on that part. They're awesome. Not you know? worth it, though. <laughs> no, you save more money in the long run, trust me. I've already ran the numbers. No, but seriously, guys, this is going to be a great fun episode and everything like that. We're going to have a lot of fun with it. Brandon, let's talk about the youth segment of biking and cycling. It's definitely come, come a long way since I was a kiddo. Yeah. My first bike was just your standard BMX bike. It was a little bit too big for me. No seat adjustment. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was under the Christmas tree, and it was basically... Mine was a uh, Royce Union from Toys R Us. Okay. I still remember my, the day that uh, my grandfather brought it home in his garage and we built it together and nice. proceeded to crash it. Now, this is here. Now, did yours have, you didn't have training wheels on yours, though, did you? I, no, I did not start off with training okay, wheels. Okay, either did I. It was just no. basically pedal and hope that I didn't fall. And after a couple crashes, I, mm -hmm. I learned not to fall. Yeah, yeah so, for sure. Yeah. Pussy kids these days with your training <laughs> wheels. Kiss my ass. No, I'm joking, guys. I'm joking. <laughs> Speaking of training wheels, B is for let's bike, start. <laughs> but B also stands for something else, doesn't it, Brandon? Stands for hookers and blow. <laughs> yeah, everything stands for hookers and blow. Stay tuned for the Christmas episode. It's only two months away, guys. <laughs> Come on, man. Kid show. Anyways, okay, I'm sorry. Dude, the coffee's starting finally. Last, you know, earlier I was sassy and now I'm just kind of, I'm way too hopped up and it's not Jamaican me crazy. All right, so let's start off with this. Now, this bike is awesome. We didn't have these things growing up. I nope. think these things came from Europe or somewhere. This is somewhere. a balance bike. <laughs> you know what I think this is? This bike is actually made for midgets. Can you say midget? I've just said midget, like I care. Okay, vertically impaired, how's that sound? <laughs> Short people, vertically challenged, dwarfs, hobbits. I don't know. They're not gay, they're know, hobbits. I don't know what the right thing is anymore. No, but this is really cool and they didn't have these when I was a kid, so. Right. So this is, provided you get them started early enough, which is about, I think, for this one they recommend one and a half to two years. This is a balance bike. Yep. Yeah, this is wow. a balance bike. So what they wanna do is just get them walking on it first. Mm -hmm. As they get more comfortable, um, they start running with it, and then they start picking their feet up, and that's where they learn their balance. Well, that's should, not bad. No, not at all. Yeah. Should everything go well with this, you should not ever have to use um, training, training wheels, wheels on the next bike. They should be able to transition very to pedals cool. very easily. It's very important that if you start a kid on this and they do well, do not put them on a training wheel right. bike afterwards. You will just destroy everything they learned on this bike. Dude, but wouldn't it be cool that. if you saw a midget riding on this bike? Dude, I would give anything to get that on film or even a photo. And don't get me wrong, I love I love midgets. I think they're the coolest group. So seriously, so on my bucket list. The, just don't look them in the eye. No, dude, I look them in the eye all the time. Dude, it's on my bucket list. I really want to go to the National Midget Convention and hang out with these guys and gals. That would be awesome. Take photos. I'm sure they all have fascinating stories. It would be amazing. I'm serious. You guys think I'm being like, aha, I'm picking. I'm not. I'm being totally serious. That would be cool. Go home, rent Willow, get it out of your system. A dude, I already own Willow. What are you talking about? <laughs> Willow! 
All right, here, take that back before this goes too far. <laughs> so, great way to start your kids off. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. After that, this is a nice way to go. Absolutely. After that, you can bust into, if you haven't done it, you can go into the training wheels. Right. Um, this is just a fun bike. Oh, it this is. This is just super cool. <clears throat> a lot of style. Got the bells, got the whistles, no whistles, but it's got the bells, yeah. at least. We can put whistles on it's here got, it's in got, a basket. It's got style. So now for, like for all my peeps who uh, do the Tour de Force, okay? Now I don't ride it, I just photograph it. <laughs> but if you're willing to ride this Bad Man Bajamba in the Tour, I will buy it for you and bring it next year. So let me know down in the comment section oh, below. The knees Maybe not the so whole bad. thing, but just some parts, just to forget, oh man, that would be awesome. Little tassels and everything like that. Maybe get a unicorn helmet. Yeah. So, no, this is really cool. And again, this is something you didn't really see when back in our age. Well, you're younger than I am. We definitely need to see this when I was a kid. We're about the same. So, you're still younger than I am. Oh, okay. I'm 48. How old are you? Oh, I'm knocking on 47. Yeah, okay. So, see, it's still really okay. Well, close <laughs> enough to where it doesn't really matter. For more, so for more performance, if you want to get your kid out for going a little bit further and uh, tackling a little bit more, we have yeah, these guys, guys over here. Super cool yep. bikes these days. That would have been something that would have been pretty cool when I was growing up. Yeah. They give you, they're giving them oversized tires now with a lot of capability. The geometry is a lot mm -hmm. more efficient. Um, God, I'd have a going lot back more to that same bike. I think I had, I had. They weren't so quite the ape they weren't hangers. Quite ape hangers, but they were pretty high up. And I had a banana seat, so um, you not would quite. have a banana seat. Well, I didn't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> did you have a little license plate from the honeycomb cereal? No, but I remember when they were out. I remember wanting it, but my parents would never buy me sugary cereals. No, thank my grandmother for that. <laughs> so she spoiled I me. I totally remember those for okay. sure. So now we also have this little tiny Roscoe. Yeah, which is awesome for really taking your kid on trail. Yeah, super capable. Um, you might think that maybe those dual suspension bikes, which are super cool for that other uh, manufacturers make. Um, well, I'll, I'll digress. They are super cool. Yeah. But a lot of times the kids are so light that they can't, they can't the move suspension, that suspension, yeah. even, even how light you put it, mm -hmm. uh, maybe very little. So what they've done here is they've given a lot of air volume tires on right. there. It's going to help a little bit with uh, the comfort but mostly with traction, yeah. and that's really what the kids need. They don't care if they're getting jostled around. They're little kids. No, so not at all. a big fat tire on there really helps with their uh, performance. It helps them get through things that they couldn't get through yeah. on something like that because you have that that surface, uh, that traction. So in all seriousness, because this brings up a point, and you and I have had discussions in passing and half jokingly before. There are some adults that are short, and I'm not midgets. I'm not more. I'm serious conversation, but I'm sure the adults, men and women, they come in. They're yeah. five one, five foot, five. Two, they're very. Now, where do they fit in in the in the biking community? Do they make adult bikes that are small enough to they fit do. a stature? Okay, so I it's not like you have to try to get a youth size bike that's good. They actually now make adult bikes for people that are that short. They do uh, Trek. I don't know about other manufacturers, but Trek now makes an extra small oh, wow, okay. mountain bike. So extra small is also going to come with not 29 inch wheels, but 27 and a half inch wheels. Right. Everything is shrunk down. Well, you'd have to um, have 27 inch wheels. That frame's so it. small. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay. So they I'm are just curious. Catering. Okay. And I think that goes down to f not. Because I've seen road know. bikes as small as like 52. Right. So right. do and they make them smaller than 52? Uh, they make them as small as 47 for oh, Treks. So okay. Yeah. And then if you need to, there's still some manufacturers in there that make a 650 wheel size for youth. Oh, okay. And that could work for our very small adult customers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, good things come in small packages. Dude, but seriously, seriously, wouldn't it be cool for Halloween? You get a midget on your shoulders, you could do like Thunderdome. Master Blaster. Who runs by the town? <laughs> You'd win. You'd win the costume contest right there. No? Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Let's go ahead. Getting back to this Getting guy Getting back quick. to this guy. Okay, <laughs> just, we're just on. one last thing. Okay. You got disc brakes on these kids' bikes now. Right. So, I noticed that. So these little guys, they don't have a lot of forearm strength yet. So having disc brakes, they're not going to need a lot of input to get them slowed down and get them stopped. Nice safety, nice control um, feature there. Super cool bike. Now, something like this with the Roscoe or even like the pre-caliber for kids and stuff like that. You know, a, a child, they say they fall in love with it because you get those kids and they take off and they want to do and they compete and everything like that. 
what's the upgradability on a youth bike like this? Is it pretty much this is the learner, and then from here you're just going to have to get a small adult bike to get into something? That's, that's kind of how I okay how I grasp that. Okay. Yeah, I would say that because it doesn't you, seem like there's a whole lot you can do. You have what you have. You take care of it. If you're in love with it, you want to upgrade as a child, or you're a parent seeing yeah. that and want to nurture that. Then it's then you're dropping the big coin. And and I, I will admit too, this is a lot of money to spend on a kid who's only going to probably be in this bike maybe a year. What's the price tag on two? this? Just curious. Uh, for example, uh, this is five thirty nine. Well, that's still not bad for a good quality bike. You're, you're going to go right. to Walmart not... and spend like three hundred, four hundred dollars on something yep. that's just bells and whistles and a piece but it's of shit. Almost the same price as an adult bike, right? Entry level mountain bike. So. Right. Um, I totally understand the conversation where oh, he's only going to he or she is only going to be in this thing for a year and they're going to be you know growing out of it. So it's all how you want right. to tackle that. Okay. <laughs> no, I just like to let everybody know as far as options and everything. Yeah. So let's talk about some of the other stuff. I'll let you talk about these. Oh, I'll look at these little guys. Yep. So uh, two things: helmet and gloves. As they're learning, those are the two things that are going to hit the ground. Right. <laughs> really. So this will just help their tender little paws uh, from uh, from the rocks and things. And they are available. These guys have changed quite a bit. A lot of technology in this. Look what they've done now. Instead of having the clip so you don't pinch their little chin skin. Yeah, they got the magnetic. magnetic. So the magnet. Oh, yeah, Brandon, right you're, you're there. You're there. You're there. Come on now. <laughs> so it goes on by magnet. Super right. easy for the kid to take off. And you're not going to pinch their chin skin in there anymore. Adjustable. And Adjustable. That one has MIPS. Yep. Oh, it's not. It's not in this, but a, a boa type yep. system in there, so it fits them much better. Um, you can have them in these helmets a little bit longer, shall we say, than some other ones, because you have that uh, that boa type adjustability. Yeah. They aren't true boas. I shouldn't say that, but we've kind of gotten yeah, yeah, yeah. to that phraseology. Yeah, it's pretty much phraseology. Really, have we gotten to the point where we're now making up words? That's not a made-up word. Phraseology. That is. Absolutely not a made up. That's word. a made up word. Absolutely. I'll not. bet you twenty bucks. Okay. <laughs> if it's not in Webster's, dude, you owe me twenty bucks. Webster's. Yeah, this isn't, dude. This isn't. No, we're not using the Urban Dictionary, dude. <laughs> Fucking mopes. When did the Urban Dictionary become? It's not in the Urban Dictionary. Part of the. It's not in any dictionary. That's my point. You guys saw it. We shook on it. Twenty bucks. Anyways, okay. And then we got tassels. <laughs> Who doesn't like tassels? Huh. Yeah. I once went to a place called Tassels. Yeah. I think we've all been to a place called Tassels. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? And here's the thing. So, you know, and I joke, and I like to have a lot of fun. If you guys haven't figured that out by now, especially people who watch the channel, Brandon and I, we like to have fun doing this. But I like to have fun in general. If I can find a bell for my bike that had a... Garmin style attachment so I can just use it on each one of my bikes instead of trying to, you know, take it off and put it on. A and bell? A, a, well, now here is very specific though. Okay. It has to be in the shape of the Millennium Falcon. And <laughs> instead of ringing, when I press the button, it makes a blaster sound and the sounds of the Millennium Falcon, well, loud enough where people can hear it. Dude, it'd be awesome because if that can it, happen. Dude, man, it'd be on the trail and hit that thing. I, I would laugh if someone like duck and ran for cover because <laughs> they thought they were under assault. But, anyways, so it's fun, and and I, I, I don't know. I'm a big kid at heart. If you guys haven't got that either, you know, 48 year old man child. Sometimes I still like friggin' fart jokes. For <laughs> Lord, Pete's sake. All right, so bottle for these little for these little bikes like these guys. They are not big enough to carry a uh, a bottle. They don't have the water bottle mounts. Right. So if you're going to go on an extended ride, they make these little guys now with a with a hook. Yeah. You can hook them onto the handlebar, and that way your little guy or gal can have some way to drink some water along the trip, and you yep, don't have yep. to share as much. Um, this is fairly new. This is a good idea. Yeah. No, There's I think no it other is. There's no way to do it before. So this is Kids out there. Kids need hydration too. This is out there. Yeah. They should be a little bit bigger, but that's cool. It is insulated, just like the big boy bottle, right. but um, super and they, cool. And yeah, it's and they idea. make adult sizes and stuff like that that you could probably fashion and everything if you want your kid to have a little mm -hmm. bit more water. But yeah, no, that's really good. Now, all right. in all seriousness about this book that we're going to talk about, B is for Bicycles. Oh, hell, you can just take this off and put this on an adult bottle. Yeah, you could. So, and it's cool. I <laughs> got a little, and it's actually, this book is, is very well illustrated. Um, now, you guys may laugh, but when you started carrying these at the bike shop, I actually remember you had them at the front counter. I, mm -hmm. I read through it. It's actually really cool. <laughs> it's at my reading level, so I like it. Yeah, well, you know, it's got pictures and everything, but for, from a kid's perspective and everything like that. So they have these at the Trek Bicycle Store. If you want to support the author and everything like that, come pick one up. I'm sure Brandon would send one to you, you know, if you bought it over the phone or something like that. But I think it's a great bike, and I think, or book. And books like this for kids, educational, also, you know, incorporating the, the fun. 
um, of, uh, of the sport of cycling, uh, it's a really good thing. So, man, is there anything we're, we're leaving out as far as kids? We've got a variety of different bikes showing off some of the safety stuff. They do make elbow pads and knee pads for the kiddos, too, in, in case you want to do something like that. A lot of companies now. Um, you know, it, is, it is, I will say, it is tough to find little kits and, you know, for mm -hmm. if you really want to get serious with it and, you know, have a little mini-me. It is a little difficult to find those those smaller bibs or things like that. Not that maybe they don't need it, but yeah. um, it would be nice to see more of that stuff. Right. You know, clothing that fits. Just, again, just to get them fired up and yeah. have a little mini-me running around out there. Well, and some kids, again, <clears> just like with any sport, whether it's soccer, football, youth hockey, but you're going to have those kids that really fall in love with it and excel. And it's nice that at least now there's more for that group um, to ever, be able to, yeah, than there than ever was. was before, yes. to be able to really enjoy and excel and take it to the next level as far as their passion for cycling. So, yep. all right, guys. Cool. Well, it's fun stuff. Yeah, no, definitely. You know, and I think that wraps it up. If you think that we've forgotten anything, if you have a little one running around at home mm -hmm. and you have something to add, definitely leave it down in the comments section below. Let us know what you use for your little guy or little gal uh, on the road or on the trail. Um, it's fun. It's fun to get your kids involved in, in the love of the sport and everything like that. So, um, and on that note, <clears throat> if you have any additional questions that maybe I can't answer in the comment section, there's going to be a link down below for Chuck Bicycle Store West Phoenix for Brandon. Follow that link. Give them a call. They'll be more than happy to address any concerns or questions you may have. Don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe, and the bell notification icon. One, it helps out the channel. I'm not going to lie. We love it. We appreciate it very much. But two, it's going to help you keep up to date on all our videos. You'll be one of the first ones to know when something's posted. Also, follow our links to social media for Instagram and Facebook. You're going to keep up on all the daily events for Get Out Arizona, including our group rides and our group hikes. And then that about sums it up. So on that note, what do we always say? Be kind to yourself and others. Be amazing stewards out on that trail, especially the little people. <laughs> and we have to ask. What are you waiting for? Get out of Arizona, Lebowski. Yeah, yeah. We'll I, see you. I know you did. It's all good. We'll <laughs> see you on the next adventure. Take care, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, customary. Yeah, customary. <laughs>